The people at Shropshire Council have been very supportive of the project as a concept. The idea of partnership working, we've managed to resolve issues we wouldn't have been able to do and I think hope, hopefully others will, will carry it on. We needed their help because they've got a lot of expertise in many departments but they've been able to deliver us something that's beneficial to us all. People really are interested in what happens where they live and they certainly want to be asked a question, they certainly want to have a voice, but I think this is more than having a voice, this is about having an active role and playing a part. What we're interested in is asking, you know, in the context of councils having much less money to spend, uh, localism agenda, um, how do councils work to try and make things happen? And that doesn't always mean them being in charge. It doesn't always mean them spending lots of money. Um, sometimes it means them supporting uh, communities and what they want to do. And not just asking, what do you want and what do you need from us, but what can we all do collectively together in a place? And I think that's what's really exciting is when a council can um, sort of tap into the energy that exists and, and not just sort of take over. It's not all about throwing money at it and then keep throwing money at it. You've, we've now got people that have, want to look after the area that wasn't being looked after before, and I think that's the difference. Community spirit has uh, returned, if you like, to an area that, that had lost it. We formed Neenton Community Society, which is a kind of cooperative, and it's a cooperative for the benefit of the community. So anybody can buy a share for a pound, nobody can buy more than one share, and the people who own the shares will own the pub. We're not a village because we don't meet. We don't have anywhere that we all go. People who live at one end of the village don't know who lives at the other end of the village. So really we need to regenerate the, uh, the social side. It'll help to inject a whole lot of life back into the village and, and perhaps uh, get an upward spiral going, which otherwise you just couldn't see happening. I think the work that OPM has been doing in Shropshire and, and has seen happening in Shropshire has really helped to shape our thinking about this question of how a council unlocks capacity in a place. OPM have been brilliant because they were able to stage the event where we asked the people of Neenton to vote for whether they wanted the pub to open and they added uh, a certain amount of kudos to that process. It was quite clear that everybody voted a certain way. We got the village people together and they all said, yes, we want our pub back. And we did a survey and that was one of the things that came up as one of the majority votes. The object isn't just to reopen a pub, it was just about another pub. I'm not sure we'd bother. It's about giving a community something it can build itself around and, and become a sustainable community for the future. And if people don't join in, um, then the whole thing's not going to work. I think because the working group who've, who've, who've done all the work to get the pub to the stage it is, haven't been dictated to by the council. It's been entirely their project, but with help that we can give when and where necessary, which is generally about bringing people together so that they can understand what it is they're trying to achieve. Without the help of Shropshire Council and other such bodies, it wouldn't have been possible. But they can't do the leadership. The leadership's got to come from within the community that wants it, and in this instance it really has. People often are very willing to put their own time and effort into something if they see the council playing their part, and I think that's a critical thing. Um, if, if councils and councillors show they're interested, show they can put resource to something, um, then people will, will come behind them and, and do their part as well. I was quite sceptical about the whole thing um, when, when at first, I, and I thought, uh, this isn't going to work, there's too many people involved here, getting people together just won't happen, but my goodness, I've changed my mind completely. When we empower communities with information and knowledge about the issues in their communities, it's then getting them empowered to actually solve their own problems. But that will mean us giving them things, resource, uh, specialism, uh, or bringing partners in to help them do it. But once that actual need has been identified and the delivery is on its way, it is then for me to back off and it is then for the community to carry on being self-sustainable. We did an open event to say what are the issues and what's important to you in your area and that took off here. And the issues that were raised were the car park, um, the, the bin stores, the antisocial behaviour and lack of gardening facilities. We felt we'd been listened to and appreciated and the relationship we have with, with the council has grown stronger and stronger as a result of it. We invited our partners 
to work with us and that included street scene, environmental services, enterprise, the police, the local police, local councillors, the parish councils, they got, all got involved and in fact we ended up with 24 partners sitting around the table to deliver these projects. Without the right people around the table we wouldn't have, we'd have been forever writing letters to people and waiting for answers back whereas we've got the right balance around that table and that's I would say to anybody if they're doing a, a partnership get the right people around the table. The, the idea really is to try and get people proud of where they live because if they're proud of where they live they take more responsibility of where, the area where they live. It's laid out some fantastic foundations we end up with this lovely car park that we have now and now the beautiful borders that I stand in now and it's all down to everybody's effort. We've managed to provide something which we couldn't do for years and I think if they roll this out across the county it's a damn good idea. Our message is councils are a critical part of this process because um, they have the electoral mandate, you know, they have resources and expertise to bring to bear. Um, it just might mean working in a different way than they have done traditionally.